The rise and fall of Studebaker Toddy, we're looking into the story of Studebaker, an American automotive pioneer that left a lasting mark on the industry. Early years and success funded in 1852 as a wagon manufacturer, Studebaker entered the burgeoning automobile market in the early 20th century. Their innovative designs and reliable vehicles quickly gained popularity. Studebaker's success was fueled by a combination of quality craftsmanship, advanced engineering, and a strong dealer network. Challenges and decline, however, the late 1950s and early 1960s brought significant challenges for Studebaker. The changing market preferences towards larger, more powerful cars didn't align well with their smaller, more fuel-efficient models. Intense competition from larger and more established automakers like General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler also contributed to Studebaker's decline. Financial difficulties and labor disputes further exacerbated the company's problems. The Avanti and the end in an attempt to revitalize the brand, Studebaker introduced the groundbreaking Avanti in 1962. This stylish and powerful sports car was a testament to the company's engineering prowess, but couldn't save it from impending doom. Despite the Avanti's success, Studebaker's financial troubles continued to mount. In 1964, the company ceased automobile production, marking the end of an era. Legacy and impact, although Studebaker's story ended tragically, its legacy lives on. The company's contributions to the automotive industry, including innovative designs, reliable engineering, and a commitment to quality, have inspired generations of car enthusiasts. Today, Studebaker vehicles are highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts who appreciate their history, style, and unique character. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of Studebaker. The company's rise and fall serve as a reminder of the challenges and triumphs that shape the automotive industry.